Good morning. This is Thursday and this is Mary Bostrom and it is time for a high five. Amen. I, you know, my favorite movie, and I've been thinking about this uh, lately, is War Room. Now, why War Room really gets to me is I believe that that is um, the, the, the cry of the heart of God in this hour that we would get alone in a secret place with them. You know, there are so many distractions and many of you will say, well, you're, you know, I'm gonna ask the pastor to pray for me or I'm gonna ask so-and-so to pray for me because their prayer, prayers are powerful. Well, the reason that their prayers are powerful is that they pray often and they don't allow the distractions to come in. And, um, you know, I always tell my group, you know, when I'm talking about if you don't think your prayers are powerful, do this one um, uh, one test. At six o'clock tonight, uh, I know many of you know what I'm gonna say, at six, six, 6.30 tonight, sit down and watch Wheel of Fortune and you won't have anything bother you. You won't remember that towels need to be taken out of the dryer. You don't remember that there's, uh, it won't bother you that the dishes are waiting in the sink for you to wash. You know, you won't think of an email. Nobody else is going to call you, come to the door. You are going to have a half an hour of relaxing and uh, just getting your mind, having fun with uh, Vanna White. And and um, and so, but tomorrow night, I want you to take the same time at 6.30. I want you to sit down and, and, and say out loud, I am going to spend a half an hour praying. Watch the distractions come. You're gonna remember everything and and, and it, you're not just gonna remember, you are going to feel compelled to get up and put do those dishes. You're gonna come, you're gonna get emails, you're gonna think of something you forgot to put on the grocery list. Uh, the dryer is gonna buzz and you, you have to go take them out right away. Somebody's gonna to come to your door. Do that test, just do that uh, test once and see what happens. War Room is one of my favorite because this lady, it shows us that she lives a life of prayer, that she that she doesn't spend all her time in the prayer room, but it is the most important room in her in her in her house. And I lo I got some some things from uh, Miss Clara Miss Clara on the War Room, and she's talking with Elizabeth Elizabeth Jordan. <clears throat> and she says to Elizabeth, I think it's time to show you my favorite place in the house. And she goes upstairs into a closet. And Miss Clara says, now this is where I do my fighting. And Elizabeth Jordan says, in a closet? Miss Jordan says, I call it my war room. And she, and so Elizabeth Jordan is just looking at all the, the, the wall and, and she, um, she, she says, so you write prayers for each area of your life? And she says, yes, a prayer strategy. So I want you to show you, I want to tell you how Miss Clara thanks God, how she prays. She says, and I agree with everything, every single, single thing I'm saying here today. It was re written, uh, this movie was so made of God, and I believe it's first time such as this. If you don't, if you got the movie, watch it again tonight. Amen. Miss Clara says, rise up those who love and seek you and trust you. Rise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Lord, we need a generation of believers. We're not ashamed of the gospel. We need an army of believers, Lord, that hate the, to be lukewarm and will stand at your word above all else. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. I pray for unity among those that love you. I pray that you would open our eyes so that they can see your truth, Lord. I pray for your hand of protection and guidance. Raise up a generation, Lord, that will take the light into the world. They will not compromise when under pressure. They will not cower, Lord, when others fall. Raise them up, Lord, and they proclaim that the, there is salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise up warriors, Lord, who will fight on their knees who will worship you with their whole heart. Lord, call us to battle, that we may proclaim the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I pray these with all my heart. Raise them up, Lord, raise them up. And then she says, God, 
You are good. You are mighty. You are merciful. Praise you, Jesus. And then she says, I love this part. Devil, you just got your butt kicked. My God is faithful. My God is powerful. And my God is in charge. Amen. Let's raise up that prayer word, that prayer for us. Amen. God bless you.